American lawyer Fane drags compatriot Shehan to court for asking U.S. to detonate IPOB as terrorist group. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB said that American lawyer Dr. Bruce Fane was, has filed a lawsuit against his compatriot American scholar Dr. Evan Sasha Shehan following his call on the United States of America government to designate the group as a terrorist organization. Shinan, who is the executive director of the School of Public and International Affairs at the University of Baltimore, in an opinion article published in the Washington Times on October 4th, gave reasons why IPOB should be designated as a terrorist group by the United States. The American don't said, Enam De Kano, indigenous people of Biafra IPOB leader, is clearly unconcerned that he feels no need to even disguise the support of terrorism in war is worrisome. Though IPOP's principal aim is to restore a breakaway state of Biafra in the southeastern part of Nigeria, Mr. Kano's rhetoric has become increasingly strident. I do not want peaceful actualization of Biafra, Mr. Kano has said through his radio Biafra channel used to project threats, instruction, and propaganda into Nigeria from the safety of London. If they do not give us Biafra, they will die. Neither does Mr. Kano make idle threats. The December revelation of IPOP 50,000 strong armed paramilitary wing, the Eastern Security Network ESN, complete a swastika style flag, marked the end to all pretenses of being a peaceful movement. What had been largely unspoken was spoken was publicly declared. Since then, violent indigenous people of Biafra attacks on both security personnel and civilians have surged by a terrifying 59 percent, deaths by 344 percent. He also said tagging the secessionist group where a terror labor will hit IPOP wallet hard, adding that if done, no organization that uses the U.S. currency will be able to conduct legal transactions with IPOP. As soon as the designation is applied, no organization that utilizes U.S. currency will be able to legally conduct transactions with the organization by cutting off IPOP's funding. The U.S. will weaken the 50,000 strong paramilitary outfit and provide Nigerian security forces room to train their size quality on ISIS affiliated Boko Haram in the northeast of the country. A terror designation will put a stop to this influence peddling. It will also mean the group could not use the U.S. or Western allies like London-based Radio Biafra to further their course. However, I popped through a statement by spokesperson Ima Powerful, which was obtained by Sahara reporters on Tuesday, reacted that Shannon was paid to rise against the Nam Kano led group. It's revealed that this American constitutional lawyer, Fane, will also address the world on Wednesday on the matter. It titled the statements, Can a Lawyer to Address, a World Press Conference on Wednesday, the 20th of October, 2021, IPOB. The statement read, The global movement and, and family of indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, ably led by a great leader, Mazen Amdekano, wishes to announce to the general public that are legal hum luminaries in the U.S., led by Dr. Bruce Fain, IPOB attorney in USA, has taken the corrupt and compromised professor of Baltimore University, Dr. Eva Ivan Sasha Shehan, in USA to court for writing falsehood and junk against the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. He compromised Dr. Ivan was paid to write a false and malicious article against IPOB and its leader, which was published by Washington Times, invariably asking the U.S. State Department to designate a peaceful self determination movement like IPOB as a terrorist organization. The law of America will catch up with him for telling lies against the peaceful movement. Our legal team in America, led by Bruce Fain, has instituted a case against him in a competent U.S. court. This paid agent will testify before the court why he accused IPOB wrongly and who paid him to do the hatchet job. We will we will also wish to announce that the indigenous people of Biafra, I beg your pardon, group of lawyers in the Nigerian in, in Nigeria, led by Barista Ifanya Jofo, will address a world press conference in Abuja tomorrow, Wednesday, twentieth October twenty twenty one, between ten AM and eleven AM in the morning. We will therefore urge members of the public to watch out for the press conference. We have some burning issues surrounding our leaders, court appearance and the struggle generally will be addressed. Shehan has already apologized and claimed he was paid by a sacked IPOB member to issue the statement. He also said that he never knew anything about the activities of IPOB prior to his suggestion for the indigenous people to be designated terrorists. However, nobody messes with IPOB and goes scot-free, 
especially in countries where reasonable human beings live and where there is rule of law. He once said, a time will come when they will talk about us. Destination is freedom for Biafran people. By the time we finish with that roadside professor, he will know that formidable IPOP, you know how formidable IPOP is. If he sees substantiated things given to him by the by the Janjaweed after being bribed to publish against his noble family, he will run away. Maybe he wanted to know how powerful IPOP is. IPOP is the highest mass movement in the world and also has the highest number of followers on Facebook. If you deal with them, I am sorry. Gradually, the Biafra course is coming to limelight internationally. Is the U.S. is he the U.S. spokesman as to ask for the designation of IPOP? I wonder what Buhari must have promised this American the last time they met in the UN meeting. The prof will spend money on this in USA, will track all his expenses and source of funds to prosecute this case. It is obvious that professorship has nothing to do with dignity. Maybe he got paid a few dollars. God bless IPOB. They think they can intimidate people everywhere just as they do in Nigeria and go scot-free. Of course, he can come to his paid masters to collect money and pay IPOB bodies for misusing their name. I believe U.S. government. Beautiful. I strongly believe that Shehan is a pen for hire. He is believed to have strong links with one jihadi professor in the Buhari government. Dr. Ivan received bribe from corrupted Buhari. Who say God of Biafra is not strong? They push some dollars to him to talk rubbish. He must vomit it. Yes, they shall gather, but hence their gathering is not of Elohim. They shall all scatter in thousands of ways. Oh my goodness. Anyone who fights God's inheritance will go home with shame. The darkness cannot keep ruling the children of light all the time. Now the can know is the Moses we Igbos follow now. When the issue of Biafra came, Charlie Boy said he's not in support of Biafra. We are rascals and we are this thing. <laughs> But when their people came, police with horses with everything, patrol vehicle were escorting them as they were dancing and singing and abusing Charlie Boy. But this same Charlie Boy, I do not understand. This serves him right. Let the Sharon go to court and tell court how IPOP is a terrorist group. This IPOP really means business, both local and international level. So much money wasted on this diplomatic warfare. Nigerian government pays Shehan IPOP. IPOP pays fine all the thousands of dollars. At the end, Biafra will come. On this note, we have come to the end of it.